you want to save these extremely important financial stability tips for a career break but the first absolute must have for financial stability is that you have enough money to pay all your non-negotiable financial commitments if you expect career break to last one year double that to two years it's called margin of safety in investing all right example your loan repayments car loan and mortgages if any is total like eight thousand a month you prepare two hundred thousand sitting in your flexi loan account or fixed deposit cost ninety six thousand a year for two years round that up because you never know central bank is going to hide interest rate during that period there's no such thing as a personal moratorium hall it would be foolish to, to destroy your credit score during your career break number two you need to eat right maintain your lifestyle expenses ideally use the same formula say you need five thousand a month so that is like one hundred twenty thousand for two years however you can make the first two way easier if you ensure that whatever you do during your career break generates at least half of your required expenses of financial commitment so you can extend your career big mileage but more importantly for emotional stability let me explain you see that fully passive or semi-passive income whether from your new venture from existing part-time venture or rental income or even your investment portfolio income will prevent you from falling into this kind of poverty consciousness because when your 300,000 keep on depleting 15,000 a month without being replenished by month six you can panic be depressed and regret your de decision and that knee-jerk reaction can cause you to think and react irrationally like doing a uno reverse start finding for jobs that are not a good fit for your skill getting a low ball offers because you feel like you don't have the negotiation power it's very easy to overlook this emotional aspect of money when you are on a steady monthly salary for decades so don't underestimate the power money has over our emotional well-being take this to heart because i don't want you to be in the worst financial and emotional well-being after your career break see so remember you go back to work after a career break because you want to not because you need to so tell me in the comment section below what you want me to story tell next on what i learned from advising my clients on their career break finances hit me a like if you have enjoyed this so far